Hey guys, and welcome back to Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. As is customary, I've made some notes, which of course you, you just can't see that. I don't think you can see that, but making notes really helps me to understand what's happening in games that have a bit of a more complicated storyline. So I'm feeling a little bit on top of what's going on and I'm really excited to get into today's episode. Okay, so this is where we got to in our last episode. What do we have? A sturdy chain and padlock hung around the door handles. Okay, so it's not going to be that easy to get in there. We don't have much in the way of breaking a padlock. I couldn't reach the wheel and couldn't see any point in climbing up to it. Don't we have our hook? No. Okay. <laughs> I decided not to tamper with the clamp. Those jaws looked like I could snap shut at any moment. Oh. The sign looked as if it was firmly attached to the wall. Anyway. I didn't really want it as a souvenir. <laughs> a sturdy chain and padlock okay. hung around the door handles. More chains. This sign also looked firmly attached to the wall. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there is something to do with those signs. I'm just going to... Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, a grill and a door. The grill opened from the inside. Oh! I didn't know we... No one will be there at this time of day. The din must have drowned out the sound of my knocking. Okay. So it's too noisy here for the knocking to be able to be heard. Maybe there was a way in up there. Okay, I'm getting ideas of what we need to do. I think that there is somebody in there and we need to distract him by maybe dropping one of these barrels or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, right. He looks very much like that same guy that we saw. Okay, so we need to somehow turn off his fan and that will get him outside, I the think. The metal housing prevented me from getting to the fan. Oh. It was a duct from a ventilation fan. Right. That's just the same window. There's two guys in there. They look very similar. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. We can't just touch it with our bare fingers. I couldn't reach the blades of the fan, which was just as well. Yeah, exactly. If I stuck my fingers in there, I'd never be able to play guitar again. And many other it things. Was a powerful fan. Do we have anything to stick in the fan? That's gonna work. Oh no! That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat hook. Okay, but now we've lost our hook. Hey. Ooh. You make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught wow. a lesson. Garzak's already mad because we didn't get the stone. Yeah. You give me any trouble, I'll tell him it was all your fault. Wow. Karzak. That must be his boss. Karzak is the guy that actually has Nico right now. The boat hook was jammed in the dented fan blades. Right. I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. Okay, I think that we need to do something outside. I don't think we do anything more inside unless we throw something. I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we have to drop uh, some of these barrels out here. And that will make a noise. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to watch that again. So he hooks up the barrel. 
the barrel goes. Where though, I don't know. Ooh. We're just doing their job for them at this moment. Hmm. See, that noise of the fan, it has stopped now. So we should be able to knock on the door. A fine old oak barrel. The clamp consisted of two metal jaws, which would close when weight was applied to them. Do I have anything else to put onto that? No. I don't know if there's anything that I can actually do with this. A fine old oak barrel. Hmm, hmm. I don't know. I have this feeling that George needs to... Have, he's got to have something to do with the barrels but what I'm going to do is knock on the door don't know if this is right but they certainly will be able to hear now here he comes who is it uh who do I say the policeman what's that thing Pizza delivery? Oh. I didn't order pizza. <laughs> no? This is the Condor Trans Global Shipping Company, isn't it? I don't like pizza. <laughs> oh, come on. Everyone likes pizza. <laughs> Maybe he was allergic to mozzarella. Do I just keep trying until I say the right thing? <laughs> hey, what now? Pizza? Look. <laughs> this pizza's been paid for. You might as well take it. I told you, I don't like pizza. Not even with extra olives? I hate them. <laughs> olives are the devil's butt nuggets. <laughs> wow. He feels strongly about olives. I can't do anything at the same time. If you know what's good for you, you'll open this oh, door. Oh, wow. What if I don't? I'll kick your head in. What? Okay. I'll come out to greet. Are you serious? I think when he comes out, we need to do something with those barrels. Get up, George, quick! I thought this guy was coming out. Is this correct? No. Oh, hang on. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to pick him up. Actually, I think we're going to knock him down into the water. <gasps> yes. Good one, Georgie. Good one. That's cool. So now his door is open. We can go in. And we saw that other fellow in here, he seemed to be not as bad as the other guy that just answered the door. I think this other guy in here is kind of nice. Whoa, we're locking him out. I wasn't going back out there. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Is this other guy? Oh, he's gone. Oh. The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Okay. What can that open? Maybe the filing cabinet? Among the paperwork which adorned the notice board was something which caught my eye. It was a delivery note from Condor Trans Global. Oh. And the address was Coromonte City. Okay. That's something. It's locked, I bet. Yeah, let's use the key. It was locked. That's okay. We have a key. So we'll use that key. The little brass key oh. didn't fit the lock. Are you serious? Can we use our dart like last time? No. Oh, no way. 
I don't really have anything else that we can use. No, okay, that's fine. Hmm. All the crates were firmly sealed. What is that noise? It sounds like a fax machine. Oh, oh, hey! Don't shoot! The little guy had a blowpipe. No, no, I no, no! I confirmed no. my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. It... I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to oh. want to tell me something. Uh. What? What do you want? Uh. He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Ooh. The little Indian fellow wasn't about to let me pass. Okay. Not until he'd got what he wanted. Whatever that was. It must be something that I have in my inventory. What about this key? Hi. Uh... I'm not going to hurt you. Guaramonte. Is that where you're from? Guaramonte City? Guaramonte! Guaramonte! He wants okay, to go okay. back, I think. What does this key unlock? Huh? He's tied up! Is he? Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? Whoa. That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? The key unlocks him! Okay. All right, where's he gone? Hey, come back here. <laughs> Where did he go? He's gone. Well, at least we've saved him. He's... The little guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. Wow. And I can't go up there? The room was filled with transglobal crates. Wow. Oh, elevator. I couldn't pry the doors apart with my bare hands. There was usually hmm. an easier way to do it. Oh, there's a button. <laughs> that is so funny. So, such a comedian, Georgie. All right. So, where is this going to take us? Oh. Okay, okay. just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? Hmm. Holding my hand in front of the eye would stop the doors from closing, but I couldn't stay like that forever. No, I think we probably need to use this chimney cone on it. No, I had to think of something else. Okay. <laughs> um... I wasn't convinced that, that was the right thing to do. <laughs> okay, well, what do we put over... What about just this, this sticker? The label just wasn't sticky enough to stay in place. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I don't really have... Maybe we could draw lipstick on it? Nope. <laughs> put some coal on it? I'd better think this through. Oh, George, what have I got? I don't really have a lot to... I don't have a lot. I could put the dog biscuits packet over. I'd better over. think this through. The little crate was precariously balanced. Oh. The large crate supported a smaller crate. Okay, okay. So maybe I have to... Instead of putting something over... Oh, I just pushed the crate. My goodness. There. That would keep the doors from closing. Okay. You just made me think way too much about that. <laughs> there wasn't enough room to move the handle. Okay, well, we probably just need to move the boxes then, Georgie. I was wrestling with the small crate when I noticed the label on its side. Danger. Live contents do not drop. Well, you're not exactly dropping it. You're just going to be placing it down nicely onto the ground. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. 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 We don't have rope. 
Hmm. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. Okay, so we need to find some rope before we work that pulley. There's got to be rope around here somewhere. There was no way to open that window. I don't believe you. <laughs> A sturdy beam was jammed across the doors. Okay, lift it up. We need to find rope. These doors were not going to open. Oh, why not? Oh, hang on. The, the manacles, will that work? The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. Okay. So we need something a little bit extra as well. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. Hmm. What else can we do then? There wasn't enough room to move the handle. Okay, okay. There's a switch. What does that switch do? Okay, so that's turned a light on. What is the point of that? To turn that light on? These doors were not going to open. The light's been turned on. But I don't know why. There was no way to open that window. Okay, well at least we've turned on the lights. Oh, scratch marks. Oh. It's a secret door. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, mm. as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. Yeah, it's a secret door. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Come on, Georgie. Then I found a small round oh, stud, nice. which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. All right. Just as I'd hoped. A secret room. With some rope in it, I hope. Oh, Nico. what? It's Nico! Oh, wow! You have unlocked bonus comic artwork. What? Whoa! I didn't know that she was here. I thought she was in some other country. Hold still. This might hurt a little. Oh! <laughs> Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. Thank God it's you, Georges. How did you find me? I'll explain later. We have to get out of here. Where's Pablo, the big guy? Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> Untie me this instant. <laughs> She's so bossy. <laughs> wow. I'm so pleased. And we got our rope. <laughs> wow. There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Ubie had been in Marseille. Mm. But never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on? Mm. Starting with that Mayan stone. Yes. I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier. And once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Mu. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. Mm. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubier. Yes, I don't get it. It was Karzak. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some mm. significance to the local people in Central America. Yeah. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Yes. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. That stone definitely has some sort of ritual Nico, properties. Wait. Look, I'm not finished in here, Nico. What is that thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take it. There's nothing else that we can do in here. Yeah, I think that Mayan stone, it, it must have something connected to a ritual. And we saw that sacrifice way back in the beginning video so i i think that stone and the sacrifice 
has some sort of it, it is it's involved in a ritual that's all i can think of right now wow <laughs> it's so we nice can't to have lose her the if that thug pablo's recovered he'll be waiting for us mm. we've got to do something where does that door lead to i'm not sure i don't know but what i want to do now is use the rope it would be balloon. much easier to attach the rope to the statue first. Okay, well, I'm only a beginner. <laughs> okay, so now we can... There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. Oh, so we need the... The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. Oh... The rope wasn't long enough to reach the pulley. Well, then we use the manacles on the rope. What? The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. I know what I want to do, but it's not exactly working. Oops, I don't want to go in there. I want to talk to Nico. No, 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 George, stop. Oh, I can talk to her about a lot of things. First, let's find out about these underpants, shall we? I found these in your bag. <laughs> oh, they were a gift. Mm. I know. I read the note. God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's quite plain enough. <laughs> okay, tell me what you know about Condor. Condor Transglobal exports Aztec and Mayan relics from Central America to Europe. But that's just a cover mm. for the real business. Drug smuggling. What proof do you have? Nothing yet. Okay. Do you know where Condor is based? In Central America. A place called Cuaramonte. Mm. I saw that name on a docket downstairs. Maybe we should hide ourselves in some crates? Tell me about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes. But he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around too. Mm. His eyes. They're like a wild animal's. Like a tiger. That's what scared me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. Did you know Ubier's wife was a film star? No. I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? He killed her. She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. How mysterious? I heard she was mm. murdered. Possibly by Ubi himself. A murderer, huh? Mm. Andre said he was something of a celebrity. I wonder if Ubi killed his wife in that sort of that ritual, and it and maybe it didn't work, so he needed the stone. Did I hear you refer to Inspector Moo? Yes, you remember him. Yes. Well, of course I do, but I thought he was dead. Oh no. He reappeared after the broken sword case had blown over. When he found out who was in with the Neo Templars, he went into hiding. Oh, okay. Who knew more than was good for him? Does he know about our involvement with the case? If he does, he's not telling. Still, he got a sudden promotion. Okay, that's good. Did that Indian guy mistreat you? If you forget about the abduction, verbal <laughs> threats and bondage, no. <laughs> what about the little guy? I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing here. <laughs> the big guy, Pablo, he brought Titipoco from the jungle. Titi what? Titipoco. That's what I heard Pablo <laughs> call the dwarf. Oh, okay. That's his name. Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with Mayan deities, George. Hmm. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. <laughs> Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? Mm -hmm. That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. Wow. <laughs> George, you're an idiot. <laughs> Look, the little guy downstairs was chained up with these. That must have been Pablo's doing. Mm. I don't blame him, though. That little guy is dangerous. Really? You're still sore about that poison dart? Of course I'm sore. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. Okay, so now we need to work out what to do here. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. Yes, we need to lift it up with the pulley.
There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. See, it literally has rope on it, but I thought that if I... Oh, hang on. It was the strip of masking tape which the big Indian had used to gag Nico. That's not going to be useful, is it? No. What I think I need to do is use the manacles with the pulley and then attach it to the rope. Right? The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. The short chain. I'd better think this through. Do I need to lengthen that chain then? It just doesn't seem to work. I don't know how to attach the manacles to that pulley. I'm going to have a look at the hints. The only door is locked, so what can I do? Okay, the only door is locked, so what can I do? Hang on, moving that statue, will that smash the door open? Is that going to smash? I think that's going to smash straight through the door. So yes, we definitely need to do something there. So what else does it say? Perhaps the pallet carrier and the statue could be useful. Yes, I know, but I don't know how to do the manacles and the rope. You need to move the crates to get to the pallet carrier. Okay, so I'm going to go back to thinking about these crates. What if I put the manacles on the crate? I didn't want to risk dropping the crate and releasing its live contents. Okay, so... No, that doesn't work. I'm going to have to get another hint. Use the tape from Nico's mouth to cover the photoelectric cell? Are you serious? I would never have thought about that. I couldn't move the crate until I blocked the light beam with something else. Okay, okay, I'm just a little bit dumb because I thought we had fixed that puzzle and we didn't need to do anything there anymore. I probably would have Hopefully never thought tape about that. those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. So now then we can move this crate back over, put the live contents crate on top of it. Okay, and then move that other crate. All right, all right. What's that noise? Or is that just the animals in that crate? I think it's got to be snakes. Or spiders, because remember that spider? Do you remember? Okay, so where do we put this? Oh, it lifts up. The pallet rose about uh. six inches off the floor. And I said a silent <laughs> prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What the <laughs> earth are you doing? <laughs> Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I yes. like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. <laughs> well, get, get Nico, please move. So let's move that. Yeah, there we go. Should I see if she has anything else to say before I go any further? I just don't want to miss any dialogue. There was nothing else I wanted Aww. to talk to Nico about at that time. Okay. So now we can, I think, push the statue along. Right? I didn't want to remove the rope from the pulley. What about if we push the statue? Like a really nice big push. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. Nico, well, she can help. I didn't see a need to raise the cart again. Can't she help? <laughs> Just help, Nico. Help, please. You can help me push it. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is yes. our passport to freedom. It's going to... If you say so, dear. Dear, it's going to smash the door open. Come on, guys. Okay, push. 
There we go. That's better. Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, <laughs> Mr. Stobart. <laughs> she is so so formal with him. Just way too formal. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to Nico about at that time. I want them to be a little bit closer. All right, let's get out of here. I think we are done in this room. I am curious about what was in that live crate, though. Ooh, okay. What have we got? We can see a cable. And nothing else. I thought about hanging from the cable with my bare hands, but it was too far to the other end of the cable to escape that way. We might need to use these manacles. Nico, I have a great idea. <laughs> there we go. Now she's gonna. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's not so. <laughs> that's not so good. Oh, the dog. <laughs> oh, wow. So back in Paris. Does that mean they're back? Oh, yeah. Charles, where have you been? Never mind that. <laughs> Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but... Uh... Don't argue, André. <laughs> Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. <laughs> George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. My I'm dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Georges, hmm. I wouldn't be here now. That's uh, not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. <laughs> the best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. Mm. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Off we go, Central America. A few days later... Quatamonte, oh. the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. That looks so cool here. Right. That's how it was translated in the brochure. <laughs> traveler's rear entrance. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Ooh. Someone is sort of spying on us there. They look so cool in their tourist outfits. Wow. Oh boy, this hey, looks complicated. <laughs> I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Quaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. Hmm. So we're looking for maybe stickers or something like that. That show us. Look, this, I wonder if you remember that taxi guy from the first one? I forget his name, but wouldn't it be funny if he was here? Oh no, a goat. Oh no, I don't want to see any goats. No goats. Oh. <laughs> we can't do anything with the goat. Maybe we can find some. Now food I like for most him. animals, but experience had made me wary of goats mm -hmm. and cats and dogs. <laughs> Every animal ever, Georgie. In Quatamonte, defacing a poster was probably a capital offense. Okay, well, what is that on? It looked to me like an early portrait of Orson Welles. Okay. Oh. Hey, Nico. Where's this? Oh. Okay. What is this place? Seems like a very busy office. Hola, señora. Hi. We were wondering. I was talking to the lady, Chico. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nicole Collar. Concha Garcia, how can I help you, sister? <laughs> the corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm asking. Wow. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Nice cover story. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've got so many things I want to ask. Why do I always go for the underpants first? 
Would you be interested in these panties? <laughs> they look about your size. George! Is your best line, Chico? <laughs> I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone Ooh. carved by a Mayan priest, no? Spirit stone. I don't know which of their many gods it represents. Hmm. That's interesting. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is Tezcatlipoca, the god of death and pestilence. Okay. <laughs> that fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Okay, wow, wow. That is not good. Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Okay, Mayan Princess. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things uh, like that. One of the boys might know about it. Okay. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Hmm. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a snack in the mouth, Chico? <laughs> oh, George. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. <laughs> What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I've... Oh. He's got no pants nice on. Bones. What? <laughs> that is so weird. Why does he not have on pants? Secretary. Oh, we can talk to all of these people. Wow. Conchita. I want to talk to this guy about why he's not wearing any pants. Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines with talking tour guides available in three different languages. <laughs> a tour of a mine. Well, this hmm. is a mining company. What else did you expect? We might be able to find something in there. Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. Hmm. Do you know where I could find senor Karzak? No, senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? She suggested it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I talk to her about why that dude doesn't have pants on? I have on? nothing else to talk about. Okay. I can't just go into someone's cupboard. Come on. Keep out of there. <laughs> that is so That's funny. where the explosives are stored. Oh, explosives. For the mines, I guess. Well, it says that Nico is there, but she's actually not there. But I just want to talk to her about Labano tells me he's been a few things. seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone mm. back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? <laughs> I think I'll talk to her later when she's actually here, because it just is it's a bit funny when she's not here. Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? Mm. I don't know. I've never seen one. All I know about eclipses is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please. Go away and let me get on with my work. Okay, I'm sorry. You ever heard of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? No. If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. Okay, well, someone here must know about the eclipse. Did you know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about ah, it. Okay. He's having a party and we're all invited. Joe. Me and the boys are dressing up as evil monks. <laughs> yeah? Cool. That does sound cool. Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? No, sir. Hmm. Okay. Well, he knows about the eclipse anyway. So I probably need to find Joe. Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes. And I'm really looking forward to seeing okay. it. I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few weeks' time, isn't it? Yes. Nine days. Thanks. Nine days' time. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? No. Okay. See, I don't know whether I believe a lot of these people. What if they are not really telling the truth about Karzak, but they do seem to know about the eclipse, or well, two of them knew about it. 
Okay, so what is this way? This just takes us back out, doesn't it? Okay, so we're back down here. I have a feeling that I would like to give something to the goat. What about the worm? No. <laughs> I might have to find some sort of goat food. Wow, look at this place. There's so many things here. Can we keep going further along left or? Not exactly. Okay. Let's just see what we have here. Hmm. Hi there. Uh, what have you got for sale? Okay. I said, what have you got? <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, I'm guessing that none of these people speak English. Hi. Lovely bread. Okay. Bread. <laughs> uh, pan? Si, pan. Uh, maybe I'll come back later when I'm hungry. Oh, why not be hungry now? Food is good. I can't talk to those, that crowd of people. I can see a hut in the background. So they have bread. That's something to keep in mind. We may need to get bread for the goat. Those things are gourds, aren't they? See. Si. Hey, <laughs> mind the footwear, lady. What does that mean? What did she do? I don't understand. There's a little hut in the background that I'm going to go to next. <laughs> Nico's over Hi. there by the goat. <laughs> Wanna buy something? Uh, no, oh. not really. I got cabbages. Buy a cabbage, senor. <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't come all this way to buy vegetables. It's for the goat, though. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Aye, that's Catlapoca. Put it away, senor. Uh, that Catlapoca brings nothing but evil. Mm, mm, mm. The poor guy was so freaked, he didn't even mention his cabbages. Mm. Listen, have you heard of Condor Trans Global? No. Buy a cabbage. I'll give you a discount on both purchases. <laughs> I'm not in the cabbages. <laughs> See ya. But maybe the goat is, though. I think we need to buy that cabbage for the goat. Inside the hut was a chair and a small table. Welcome to Guaramonte. Thanks. When's the next ship out of here? But, senor, <laughs> don't you like our beautiful country? <laughs> yeah, of course I like it. Oh, yeah. It's like a little piece of paradise right here on of Earth. Of course, it's then lovely. Then why you want to leave? I'm just playing To go back home. home. Like it says in the song. A word of warning, senor. If you feel like bursting into song, bite your tongue. Why? Huh? There are official restrictions on music in Cuaramonte. Really? How come music is restricted in Cuaramonte? It is part of the Great Cultural Enrichment Campaign. Okay. Traditional Cuaramonte music is considered unsuitable for these fast-moving times. Nuestra Señora has decreed that only one category of music is suitable. What's that? Easy listening. <laughs> okay. We've had enough. We're going back to the ship. Okay. You show me your brown card? Huh? What brown card is that? Brown card? The official exit visa. Oh. Oh. That's really unusual that he's can't leave without an exit visa. Where do we get that from then? And I'm not ready to leave, but we must have to go there when we are ready to leave. Those guys are playing music, so it must be easy listening. Do you have crabs? No, only fish. <laughs> okay. Nice fish. Thanks. If by some remote chance I ever need a fish, I'll be back. <laughs> Do you recognize this statue? Si, senor. It is very, very bad luck. Uh, that is Tezcatlipoca, the night hunter. Night hunter. I know, but I don't believe in luck, good or bad. You may not now, but you will. <laughs> the guy looked scared out of his mm. wits. Wow, they are Go very away. scared of that statue. Very, very scared. Look at that lady over there. She reminds me of 
pearl in the hey, first cheer one. Hey, guys. What's with the long faces? Our pipe player has been arrested and thrown in jail. Oh, wow. Poor Miguel. He never broke the law in his life. Then why is he in jail? Why was Miguel put in jail? For playing fuck Oh, well, music. it's the law. What? It's true, senor. He insisted on playing mm. traditional Cuaramonte music, even though it's illegal. He broke the law, so... Why don't you try playing a tune to cheer yourselves up? No. We should be looking for real jobs. <laughs> we could earn ten times as much down the mines. Mm. My cousin Ramirez was earning eight pesos an hour. Wow. Before he lost <gasps> his legs in the accident. Oh, wow. What happened? Tell me about the accident at the mine. There was an explosion at Teoculcan. Thirty miners were buried Whoa. alive. They got some of them out, though. Wow. Two of them, including your cousin, and they left half of him That's behind. That's terrible. That is so bad. Have you seen anything like I, the hungry chief? Why are you carrying that thing around with you, senor? Don't you know who it is? Sure, it's Tez Catlipoca. But it's only a little carving. It brings death, senor. Death and destruction. Mm. Mm. Would either of you guys care for a biscuit? <laughs> a dog biscuit, senor? Are you trying to insult us? No, really. They're good. We'll take your word for it. I could give the dog biscuits to the goat. I'm going to try Have that. Have you any idea what this is? No, senor. Me neither. Okay, so they don't know it. What do you make of this little worm? No good. It's dead. <laughs> sure it's dead. You think I'd carry it around in my pocket if it wasn't? Take a look at the design on this label. I have seen that before. Where? There was a ship flying a flag okay. just like that. When did you see this ship? Three months ago. Oh, uh, three months. It was here, at the docks. It's a long time. But at least it's been here. What was the ship with the condor flag carrying? I don't know, senor. We weren't allowed near the docks. Mm. That's right. Usually we meet the ships when they tie up. We play to the tourists. Mm. Well, when the Condor ship came in, we were told to go away. Okay, so they were hiding something. Do you guys know anything about a total eclipse? What mm. is it? It's like when the sun is hidden by the moon. It's crazy. My cousin Alfredo swears he saw it happen once. But that was after he stupidly consumed a cocktail of peyote and <laughs> antibiotics. Okay, I've got a thought. This eclipse, what I think, I think that the ritual with the stone and maybe a sacrifice and the eclipse all happens at the same time. So someone is going to be sacrificed during this eclipse, I think. But what I want to do is I want to see if I can give the dog biscuits to the goat. No? Come on, there has to be something here that the goat wants. Because you know that goats eat just about everything. What, uh, what, what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. What? A car, car coal? I, I would have, uh, I would have preferred, uh, chocolate. Uh, any, any, uh, flavor, so long as it, uh, hasn't got, uh, um, mar marzipan what? in it. God, I, I, I hate uh, marzipan. You can talk. I, I mean, you're a talking goat. What? C keep, keep your voice down. <laughs> the, the, this is is between you and me, right? Well, I guess I so. Don't understand. Now, I, 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 I mean it. You, 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 you tell anyone you've <laughs> spoken to me, and 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 you'll be cursed. A talking goat. Why? Will he talk to me about everything now? Or he just wanted to talk about the coal? What? That is so strange. And now he doesn't talk. The mournful look in that goat's eyes was beginning to depress me. <laughs> wow, but I can't tell anyone about that. And he told me not to. I'm going to see if this is Pearl. It looks like it. George Stobart, well of all the... Mrs. Henderson. Boy, this is some coincidence, is that her huh? Name? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Dwayne as long Dwayne. as I am, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met Pearl, Pearl and Dwayne on yes. the other side of the globe in Syria. Yes. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA. 
but wasn't sure. <laughs> she was less obviously deranged. <laughs> Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Henderson? Why, sure. I couldn't leave him home alone. <laughs> Since Dwayne came back from the war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. Whoa, why? Why aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoil sports sourpuss. I want to visit one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right, and you don't oh. want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around <laughs> to take the picture. We can go. Is Dwayne still working for the CIA? If he is, he doesn't know it. He's what they call a snoozer. Wow. Uh, don't you mean a sleeper? No, this is different. <laughs> he used to think he worked for them, but the psychotherapy cured him of that. That's so what weird. What he doesn't realize is that now he really does work for them. At least that's the way I understood it. I'm confused as anything. What brings you to Quaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywhere is the market. You drove 2,000 <laughs> miles to go shopping? Shopping is my role in the economy of the great design. <laughs> what do you make of this stone, Pearl? Oh, that's pretty. What's that thing supposed to be, a rabbit? I believe it's a coyote. Well, it sure is cute. I was surprised she didn't ask me where she could buy yep. one. <laughs> I think she's going to want our statue, actually. What do you make of this statue, Pearl? Hoo-wee, that's a spitting image of Dwayne's brother Sheriff. <laughs> a little less body hair, maybe, but it's him all right. I want to kind of give it to her. She might want it. What does this mean to you, Pearl? What cute little feathers. Hmm. Why, if you had two of those, they'd sure make nice earrings. This isn't intended darts. for frivolous personal adornment, Pearl. <laughs> it's a dart tipped with a fast-acting, muscle-numbing poison. Pardon me, <laughs> I stand corrected, honey. Sometimes I got the feeling that communication with Pearl was like sending signals out into space. She is a Maybe bit weird. Maybe if you waited long enough, you'd get an intelligent answer back. <laughs> but it was a long shot. George, sometimes he was so rude. Look at this, Pearl. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear I'll scream like a hog on a hot plate. Why? <laughs> Just because it's a little worm? Take a look at this news cutting, Pearl. You'll have to read it to me, George. I oh. left my specs in a gay bar in Santa Barbara. You're actually wearing well, your glasses. It's about an eclipse of the sun, which is due to occur in a few weeks' time. <laughs> You'd think the government would warn us about these kind of things. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not dangerous or anything. Apparently, the best place to view the eclipse is right mm. here in Guaramonte. Oh, my. She didn't appear to be the slightest <laughs> bit interested. Catch you later, Pearl. Okay, so we're done with Pearl. I had no more to talk to her about. Okay, I can see a police station in there and then going around the back there. I just want to catch up with Nico and see if there's anything else that we can talk to her about. I don't want to tell her about the goat. I don't want to get cursed. Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, George? Sure, they're great. Oh no, you have not! <laughs> You're guess an idiot. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I suppose it could She's be. She's too smart for you. How did she know that? <laughs> My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, George. <laughs> Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just <laughs> can't seem to part with it. <laughs> we can use it on something, Take I think. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Mm. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Mm. Here, right here. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu. Where did you get that kind of money? It's not ours. It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Hmm. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. Okay. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> okay, I think what I want to do hey, is go in the police office. I don't know why, but we need to explore. Policia. Okay, what have we got in here? 
We have three. I have done just as I have been instructed, Professor. Oh, he seems dodgy. He seems weird, doesn't he? With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavations. Who's that? Ah, I have visitors. Wow. Just remember what I told you, General. They're corrupt. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. Who's he talking about? Who's that guy? Very strange. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, senor. Welcome to Quaramonte. Thanks. Hmm. My name's George Stobart from California. But what is this? An angel come down to earth. <laughs> Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. <laughs> Slimy creep. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. Uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. Tourist information. I thought it was a police station. Oh my goodness, there's so much to ask him. <laughs> This is the tourist office? Yeah. It says police on the sign exactly. outside. It is both, senor. I am a man of many parts. Okay. I can see that, general. <laughs> Have you heard of a guy called Karzak? No. No, I never heard of him. Hmm. I don't trust this guy I at all. I hear there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? A few. Thirty? <laughs> Barely 1% of the working wow. population. Wow, that's disgusting. Is it true there's a restriction on music in Cuaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Señora. Who's Folk that? music is a link with the past for some of these people. Mm. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. <laughs> you think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happened in your country. <laughs> Are there any ruins around the city? Of course, senor. Cuaramonte has everything. Mm. I have a friend who wants to visit an historical site. Ronaldo will only be too pleased to, to oh. conduct a guided tour. When he's dealt with today's paperwork, of course. Okay, so that must be Ronaldo, the other guy in the green. Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Mm. Professor Ubier. <gasps> a visitor, what? senor, like yourself. That's Ubier. Did you say Ubier? Si, senor. Professor Ubier, a French archaeologist. Wow. Interesting. What's Ubier doing in Cuaramonte? Researching our rich and glorious past, senor. Mm -hmm. The professor is planning an expedition to some Mayan ruins. He came to see me to get an excavation permit. Wow. We've had enough of Cuaramonte and we want out. Am I stopping you? The guy at the docks tells me I need an exit visa. <laughs> Ask Ronaldo. Okay. He'll make the arrangements. That's what he's here for. So that's how we get out of here. All right. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, Senor Stobart. <laughs> a dog cookie. <laughs> I love Have that. Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get mm -hmm. it? We picked it up in the market as a souvenir. Good lie, Nico. <laughs> what do you think of these panties, General? Oh boy, fabuloso! <laughs> They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. I told you, I never heard of the guy. <laughs> that is so do I funny. Get panties now? I told you all I know. <laughs> you told me nothing. Take a look at this label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. Hmm. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. How do the you lady know? at the mining company told us a ship belonging to Condor was here recently. Conchita Garcia is crazy. <sighs> if there had been a ship, do you think I wouldn't have noticed? You were corrupt. Of course you're gonna lie. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Cuaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed exactly. here. Exactly. They are simple peasants. Wow, you're disgusting. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Rude. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor. How do you know? Whoever he is. Exactly. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Cuaramonte? Of course, senorita. 
Unfortunately, <laughs> all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. So convenient. Very convenient. Do you know anything about the forthcoming eclipse, General? Such things do not interest me, Senor. I'll be back. Oh, that guy is giving me some bad, bad vibes. He is creepy. I decided to leave the television switched on. Okay, so what else does he have? Have a monitor. I don't know what that does. It looks like a game. It was a computer monitor with some kind yeah. of outdated game displayed on it. Looks like I didn't have time to get <laughs> sidetracked by playing computer games. Looks like Space Invaders or something. Oh, a safe. No. The safe was undoubtedly locked. Yes. Some paperwork. I had no need for junk mail, <laughs> especially someone else's. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a chat to... The filing cabinet was probably locked. Probably. Let's just have a little... I'll see if I can... I want to just sort of talk to Nico, but she's in an awkward position. I'm going to talk to Ronaldo. Hi, I'm George Stobart. Hello, senor. How can I help you? He seems a lot nicer than the other guy. Are there any ancient pyramids near Cuaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. Mm. It's in ruins. That's perfect. <laughs> would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general oh. would have a fit if I left all this paperwork. Well, just do your paperwork first, I'm then. trying to get out of Cuaramonte. If I had a dollar for every time <laughs> I heard that, I'd be able to buy back half my family. Never mind them. <laughs> what about my visa? We don't take visa. I didn't ask if you take a visa. I want you to give me a visa. I can't help you, senor. I don't understand these things. How do we get out of here, then? This is so Would weird. you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? <laughs> I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Oh. Toothache? No, senor. If the general <laughs> catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. Wow. <laughs> do you recognize this statue? It's Catlipoca. The night wind. Mm. Take it away, senor. That stone is cursed. Yes, 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 it is. Do you know anything about this eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about most things. Hmm. So long. Okay. So what I'm gathering is we need to somehow get Ronaldo on our side here. But that means getting him away from the watchful eye of the general. And I don't really know how to do that. I'd asked him all I'd wanted to for now. I think I will. I wasn't going to try investigating the passage oh. while the general was sat there. There's a passage down there. Okay, is there anything that I can that I can do? It would have no interest. I'll be back. He seems to be interested in the underpants, though. He would have no interest. I'll be back. He does have interest, George. Okay, so there's like... Oh, hang on, hang on. What's that? What's that? Oh, that's the chart that Ubie and the General was looking at, wasn't it? Senor. Leave that chart alone. Right. It was the map the General hadn't wanted me to see. Okay, so we must have to... A safe was tucked under the desk. We need to get this guy out of this room or distracted in some way. Don't really know. I don't think we have anything to do yet. But I'm very curious that Ubie is here. Very, very, very curious. Why did you show him the stone? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, he does now, for sure. <laughs> he knows we have it. Oops, that was a bit silly of me, I guess. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes, it looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Mm. Whatever it was, the general didn't want us to see it. You came on a little strong with the general. I was merely flattering his ego, George. <laughs> Every man has his Achilles heel. Yeah, maybe. But that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. <laughs> oh, that geez. man we saw talking to the general was Ubie. Mm -hmm. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? Yeah. 
The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Oubillé, mm. but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Mm. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Really? Nah, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Quarmon. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah, uh, actually, maybe he is innocent. Maybe it's that Kazakh that is the bad guy here. Maybe Professor Ubia is innocent. I don't know. Okay, well, I think we've looked around. We've looked around everywhere here. There's nowhere really else to look at. Nico's gone over here, so she obviously wants to go. Okay, I'm curious about down this corner. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to have a look. Because I think we've done everything around here. Oh, there's Ubie. That's Dwayne. Right. We have a man. We have Dwayne and Ubie. Maybe Ubie is okay. Oh, I don't know. Hi, I'm George Stobart. <laughs> what can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Mm. Lots of folks lost their lives. <gasps> I was lucky. I only lost my leg. Wow, poor fella. Can you tell me anything about this stone? That's obsidian. It's a volcanic rock which has cooled so fast that... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not. I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. <laughs> That's right. Then the guy you should talk to is the professor. Right. He's over there, talking to the bozo in the <laughs> truck. The bozo. <laughs> do you know what this statue represents? Should do. I used to carve things like that to sell to tourists. But it scared people around here, mm. so I stopped. Maybe he carved that exact one. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Trans Global Shipping Company logo. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yep, exactly. We know. Did you see the ship with the Condor flag? Mm, no. But the dock is just the other side of the square. Might as well be the yeah, other exactly. side of the Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have moon. any legs, George. Come on. Don't be so obtuse. Have you heard about the eclipse of the sun? Sure, I'm having a party oh, to nice. celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited, except the general. I don't blame you. Why don't you want the general at your party? Who would? Because if he comes, he'll bring those damned music albums from the 70s. Okay, music albums from the 70s. Hopefully that's just easy listening. What do you think of these panties? <laughs> awesome. You wear them? Uh, no, someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. <laughs> Thoughtful. <laughs> All right, let's have a chat to Duane and then Ubie, and then I think we might finish up this episode. It was Pearl's husband, Duane. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Good to see you again. Do I know you, son? <laughs> George Stobart. Remember? In Syria? I sold you a statue. <laughs> I remember that. Pearl was mighty vexed when the paint came uh -oh. off. Uh-oh. Look, I'm sorry. I'll give you back the $50. <laughs> no, no. You suckered me fair and square. Sorry. This here is Bertrand. Bertrand Ubier? Bertrand Ubier. So, we finally caught up with you. What the devil are you talking about? Don't give me that crap, Ubier. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, hold fire, George. Suppose you tell us what the hell's going on. This man lured Nico to his house in Paris in order to abduct her. Nonsense. Mm. I've been in Cuaramonte for the last seven months. Mm. And I, I believe can vouch him. for that. George, I think you owe Bertrand an apology. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ubie, I'm sorry. Wow, this is so interesting. So Ubie had nothing to do with Nico's abduction at all. He is definitely, I feel that he's innocent in this, but then he has those dealings with the general that I, I don't know what to think about. But then also Ubie was meant to have killed his wife, that famous actress. Unless that 
is not true as well. Are you still working for you know who? Who's that, George? You know I'm retired. <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, forget it. I confused you with somebody else. Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> no, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Guaramonte. Which is? So the general is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Okay. Strictly strings and wood. Okay. Who's pulling the strings? Mm. His mother. Better known as La Presidenta. Oh, wow. The dictator. Okay, okay. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. <laughs> He's the man behind Condor. And the rat who kidnapped Nico. Mm. You know... The first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. Wow. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, Aww. I would have wanted a boy like George. That's so nice. But I underestimated you, son. <laughs> Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> no, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison mm. just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. Okay. What's the real reason the musician was in prison? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. Oh. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint. On a charge of inciting a riot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he was... I think Miguel was fine. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yeah. Yes, she did. She'll get over it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you think she'd been trucking half her life. <laughs> What's in the truck, Dwayne? Mm. Oh, uh, just camping equipment. Sleeping bags and tents. Me and Pearl always hankered after a taste of the great outdoors. Aren't you worried about camping out in the tropical jungle? We had a trial run in West Virginia. <laughs> This'll be a breeze in comparison. Why don't I believe him what's in the back of his truck? Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog <laughs> snacks bring me out in a rat. That's disgusting. You How would you they know? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. Oh, when God. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, <laughs> she just laughed. That's disgusting. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? Borrow? So lucky Why? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. <laughs> Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? I never heard of it, son. Hmm. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? <laughs> Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No. A guy we know in Paris bought them for. <laughs> oh, you're a threesome then. No, we are not. Absolutely not. Why are not. you looking at me like that, George? <laughs> Forget it. Oh, that is so funny. Professor Ubier, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, lots of things, apparently. What do I want to ask him about first? His wife. I am curious. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. I believe her. I, I mean, I believe him. Maybe you don't, but I do. Why was she known as the Little Dachshund? It was just a... Silly pet name I used to call her. Somehow some damned reporter found out. I believe this guy you know. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. Oh, oh wow. Have you ever employed a Central wow. American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Trying to piece all this together. Would you like a biscuit? <laughs> no, thank you. You should. They're good. <laughs> mm. I can't do enough of these things. George, stop it. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you get that? That's my business. How much do you want for it? It's, it's not, not for, for sale. sale. 
Wow, he really wants that. Can you identify this statue, Professor? Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Darkness. Mm. A Central American god, right? A supreme deity. Yeah. Tezcatlipoca oh. means literally smoking mirror. Right. Bear. You see the mirror shield in his left hand? Yes. The Mayans believed he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. Wow. He was the wind which came howling in the night in search of victims. Whoa. And victims they gave him by the thousands. Wow, wow. Human sacrifices? Men, women, oh, wow. children, animals, anything that bled. Whoa. The steps of his temple yep. ran red with sacrifices. the blood of sacrifices. Yep, yep, yep. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. That is all kind of making sense now. I think it's definitely to do with this stone and the eclipse and the, and sacrifice. And I think Karzak is probably maybe the leader of all of this, I think. Do you see this label? Yes. It refers to a company named Kondo. What of it? I traced that company here to Cuaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. Oh. They went bankrupt recently. Recently? How recent though? Th and that's not true. I have proof that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. That's not true though. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Cuaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. Mm. Take a look at this, Professor. That's what you got to his say about bank that? statement. Where did you get this? <laughs> Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust Gwyneth implicitly. And why Marseille? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? Mm. That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. Now, what plot? I have no idea. Mm. I think so. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. no. For the ancient Mayans, it marked the end of the fifth age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. Mm. The fifth is the final age. Oh, wow. Ending in the total destruction of the Earth. Okay, that escalated. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this episode here. It's been a bit of a long one, but there was just so many people to talk to in this place, which I am not even going to pronounce. I can't say this town name. I am too stupid for that. But what I can gather is that Professor Ubie, I actually believe that he did not have anything to do with Nico's abduction. It was definitely all Karzak, and Karzak is connected to the general and probably the general's mother. It's definitely going to have something to do with a sacrifice. At When the eclipse is happening, they're going to sacrifice somebody. And maybe this little um, the death statue symbolizes the guy that is going to be doing the sacrifice. It's a lot to take in, a lot to work out exactly what's happening. But I feel kind of good now that we met Professor Ubie and I do trust him. But he does have some sort of involvement with the general that I don't quite know what that is yet because I don't trust that general at all. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying Broken Sword 2. I'll be back again soon with the next episode. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.